The Silver Surfer, restored to his chrome form by the God of Light, confronts Null. As they prepare to resume their ancient duel, Null, recalling their past fight in Silver Surfer, mocks the Surfer's belief in the God of Light. But before the battle begins, Edebrock, now Captain Universe, arrives. Eddie, wielding Yolner and the Silver Surfer's board fused into a battle axe, confidently challenges Null. Null evades but is chased by Eddie, while the other heroes fight off a horde of symbiote-controlled civilians. Eddie pursues Null through a horde of symbiote dragons, shredding them with his battle axe. Null tries to intimidate Eddie by activating a celestial under his control. Eddie effortlessly decapitates the celestial with his axe and slams into Null. Remembering the torment Null caused him, Eddie tears Null's symbiote armor from his body, leaving him vulnerable. Null claims that even if Eddie kills him, darkness will live on in Dylan. Eddie dismisses the threat and flies into the sun, vaporizing Null's body with a blast of divine light from the uni power. Emerging from the sun, Eddie hears the god of light telling him that the voices he hears are the symbiotes celebrating their freedom. Meanwhile, the symbiote barrier around Earth dissolves, allowing sunlight to return. Blade and other heroes defeat the remaining vampires. Thor and the Silver Surfer reclaim their weapons, acknowledging that life may never return to normal after the battle. As Eddie lands, Spider-Man asks if Null is truly dead, but Eddie warns that the fight isn't over yet, noticing Dylan in distress. Dylan, possessed by remnants of Null, cries out in pain. Eddie, using the God of Light's power, pulls the symbiote essence from Dylan and destroys it. The uni power departs from Eddie, declaring that he no longer needs its protection. The Venom symbiote rebonds with Eddie, and he learns that the Hive is speaking to him. Eddie is now the King in Black, the new god of the symbiotes, controlling the Hive mind and leading the freed symbiotes, 